In today's digital age, sensitive information is everywhere. From financial records to personal identification information, protecting sensitive data has become a critical aspect of modern business. With the increasing number of data breaches, it is important for organizations to understand the importance of data security and implement measures to protect their sensitive information. In this white paper, we will discuss 10 ways organizations can protect their sensitive information. By implementing these measures, organizations can reduce the risk of data breaches and ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of their sensitive information. Encryption. Encryption is the process of converting plain text into a code to prevent unauthorized access. Encryption algorithms such as ICE, RSA, and Blowfish provide a secure way of transmitting and storing sensitive information. Organizations should encrypt their sensitive data at rest, when it is stored, and in transit, when it is transmitted over networks. Access controls. Access controls are measures that restrict who can access sensitive information and when. Access controls can include password protection, biometric authentication, and two-factor authentication. Organizations should implement access controls to limit the number of people who can access sensitive information and ensure that only authorized individuals have access. Physical security. Physical security is critical for protecting sensitive information stored on devices such as laptops and smartphones. Physical security measures include locks, alarms, and surveillance cameras. Organizations should implement physical security measures to prevent unauthorized access to devices that contain sensitive information. Network security. Network security is essential for protecting sensitive information transmitted over networks. Firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and virtual private networks, VPNs, are common network security measures. Organizations should secure their networks to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. Data backup. Regular backups of sensitive information are important for disaster recovery and data loss prevention. Organizations should store backups in a secure, off-site location to minimize the risk of data loss. Regular backups should be performed to ensure that sensitive information is protected in the event of a disaster. Awareness training. Employee awareness training is important for protecting sensitive information. Organizations should train employees on the importance of data security and the steps they should take to protect sensitive information. Employees should be trained on topics such as password protection, safe browsing practices, and recognizing phishing attempts. Data classification. Data classification is the process of categorizing sensitive information based on its level of sensitivity. Organizations should classify their sensitive information and implement appropriate security measures based on the classification level. For example, information classified as confidential should have higher security measures than information classified as public. Monitoring and auditing. Monitoring and auditing are important for detecting and responding to security incidents. Organizations should monitor and audit access to sensitive information to detect any unauthorized access attempts. Regular audits should be performed to ensure that sensitive information is protected. Third-party access. Third-party vendors may have access to sensitive information in the course of providing services to an organization. Organizations should carefully vet and monitor third-party vendors to ensure that their sensitive information is protected. Third-party access agreements should include provisions for protecting sensitive information. Incident Response Plan. An incident response plan is an important aspect of data security. Organizations should develop an incident response plan to ensure that they are prepared to respond to security incidents involving sensitive information. The plan should include procedures for reporting incidents, conducting investigations, and responding to security incidents. Conclusion. Protecting sensitive information is critical for modern organizations. By implementing the 10 measures discussed in this white paper, organizations can reduce the risk of data breaches and ensure the confidentiality.